again, everyone. This is Kakajo. As always, underslept and overcoffeed, but let's play Grow Iron. G grow into a, an iron tree. Ah, when we last left off, we see in the top right in the mini map, see a little square, a little rectangle of brown. We made a farm area, and it's raining right now. So luckily, my plants are getting watered, which is nice. Um, so anyway, I think I've gotten too used to talking to an animal. Oh, I can't see again. I made myself eight torches, apparently. Wait, why did that make eight torches? Wait, what? Hold up now. Did that seriously just give me one torch per... What? No. That, that, that's impossible. I, I could have sworn I made... What? I'm confused. I just put a bunch of... Uh... Oh, Lord. I am so mixed up. In any case, I'm used to LPing now talking to something. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know. You know, you know, Narun or Core or whatever. So, how about, how about from this point, we just, um, focus on getting Core back. You know? Actually, it's not that difficult to recipe. You don't have to research him, which is, which is nice. I can't see. You don't have to research him. Um, but you do need enchanted wood surrounding a piece of any, or no, a piece of soul sand. A block of soul sand. So, really, that just means we need... Uh, crystals, wood, just, or just two crystals, I have plenty of wood around me, and, um, to go to the nether, which unfortunately means we're also going to need to get, uh, diamonds to harvest obsidian to make a nether portal. But once we do that, it's like, bam, flamita blamita bam right up in the stuff. All the, you know, actually, there are other steps to it that, it, like, um, we have to make an infuser, I guess. So, we can't really escape from Thomcraft, guys. It's, <laughs> you know, if we want our buddy back, if we, if we want our buddy back, it's just, it's just gonna have to happen. You know what? I haven't even crafted myself a, uh, you know, a weapon yet. I am Grimwire Savvy, because you don't go, you don't go underground or go out at night with Grimwire of Gaia without a big old angry weapon. You know? <sighs> oh, especially because now I've made it to, hey! Your job is harvesting blocks, not uh, torches. Ooh, hello. Uh, because a, a thing is about this this mod pack, it, uh, I took away the keep inventory on death thing. It just felt like way too easy, you know. There wasn't much of a risk. I mean, sure you lost experience, which which sucked because I was trying to level up to be able to take on dungeons and all that. But uh, just n without the risk of losing your stuff, which some would argue is kind of unnecessary, but eh. It's Minecraft. I like it, which is why I did include experience chests, so I can save up my experience with no penalty, like in the Yogg box. The last one I was using, it only had an uh, experience book, which I guess was kind of like it, except you took penalties for every exchange. Experience chest, it lets you... it, it kind of balances out because I think it's a little more difficult to make. But anyway, it keeps your experience, you know, you can keep it, and if you die, it stays there, and all that stuff. You can withdraw it, deposit it whenever you want, as much as you want, forever and ever, which is nice. So that way I can save up experience, level my stuff up, uh, and then, in that way, have a fighting chance to survive. But, my god, both? Because originally, Ogbox had experience chest and no death, you know, no inventory loss on death. That was just, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I guess, really, in, in that, in that mod pack, you focused more of your time on Thawncraft. I enjoyed it. I had a good, I had a good time. But until we get core back, I'm, I'm gonna need, like, a cow or something. I'm, I'm gonna have to, like, forever hold wheat. Which I, which I guess could be another, like, hard mode or something. <laughs> but I need, I need someone. You must animate inanimate object. Blo a block of iron, maybe? No? Can you not? Oh, great. It's, I don't even have a shovel. All right, back up, back up side. Maybe it's daytime out. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, the mini map lets, kind of lets you know when it's night or daytime by looking at the brightness or the, ooh. Ooh, that's helpful. You know, it's kind of like a clock, maybe. Just a, li just a little bit. Very good. Okay, we'll set the... Oh, my God. I forgot how tedious going up block stairs is. Eh. Oh, why do I not have gigantic meaty thunder thighs? Wait, do I? Cargo do you have... Nope. Straight as a barrel. Hmm, actually, barrels aren't very straight, are they? Straight as a box. Which is more fitting, because it's Minecraft. Ooh, chicken. Iron Man, why am I carrying that with me? Why am I- oh yeah. <laughs> a weapon, right. Oh, Battle Axe, why do you tell- 
Did you know that you still can't enchant this stuff? I, I, I feel like I remember reading that a more recent iteration for like 1.3 or something, uh, 0.2, lets you enchant this stuff, but apparently no. Apparently not, so do I, so the question is, do I want to take a battle axe, which has an overall really high strength, way higher than an iron sword, or do I want to take a sword and have the option to enchant it later? Which I guess really that won't be l until later on anyway, so eh! Let's make a battle axe! Hey, battle axe, how you been? Battle axes don't talk, apparently, in this game. Dang it! They talk for Murphy! What the hell? And pickaxes and hoes, and I need a shovel. Eh, whatever. You spend some to get some, eh? Although you don't really need iron for shovels. Could you imagine tears? Tears of 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 dirt. <sighs> some places. What is, what is up with that? Randomly, I come in here and it's all like, bloop! I'm in the top left. You can't go there. You, that's not what your job is. I can dream. No, you can't. Oh, oh, hey, I'm talking to the crafting box. How lovely. I, I'm having a great time, you guys. Talking to the crafting box. That's awesome stuff. Okay, let me move this. Meh. Uh, huh. The rest of you get back in this box because we gotta go water stuff, I, I, I think. That's almost broken. Wooden and stuff. Anyway, what? You done? Good job! Good, good, excellent job. Let's go find ourselves a fr- Oh wait, do I have wheat yet? Okay, I do have seeds though. I'm gonna go ahead and- God bless it! How many times am I gonna open and close- this chest. Don't start a counter. Don't start a counter editing room, Kakujo. Don't be cheeky. Stop it. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, so we'll go start some wheat because I really need to get, you know, like a farm going. That'd be lovely. Okay, nothing be up here that's trying to kill me. That would be... I have a... I have a battle axe. What the... Oh, no! Ah! Ah! Get watered again! Whoa, the strawberries grew really fast. Okay, so maybe it is like, uh... The whole random thing. Look at those fish. I want you so bad. But I can't have you. Ooh. Apparently I can just go battle axe fishing. <laughs> it's not a complete waste of a mod in that sense. Because really, I don't, I don't have to sit there and be like, Oh my god. Where are the fish? Oh yeah. Actually, a lot of stuff grew. Huh. Ah, 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 ah. <gasps> Who's walking near me? Oh, it's my footsteps. <laughs> I'm so easy to scare. Get in me! Look at turnip! Of course, I can... It doesn't always drop more seeds to put down, but some, you know, sometimes it does. What? Get back. Get back up. Get back in the ground. Okay, and the strawberries are tricky. You gotta, you gotta like, you gotta, like, hit the top of it. But be careful, because for some reason... I guess he fixed it in a more recent iteration, but, you know, I'm stuck with the 1.2.5 version. Because, uh, you know, strawberries, along with other certain things from Harvest Moon, they don't, um... They don't break when you harvest them. They they stick around for another, you know, for the rest of the season so you can continue. Because, you know, it's like the actual plant. They were trying to go for realism, guys. Come on, give them a... Give them a... Oh, no! Why do we keep hearing lava slash zombies? That's kind of weird. Oh, calm down, Kakujo. It's just the... It's just the dirt. Why, why is my inventory tweak stuff not working? Hmm. Because normally there's a... What, what the heck are you? Book of Lore? What? Uh, some Book of Lore doesn't even know anything about cabbages. Raw fish game by- Ooh! Oh, so you can like stick- Okay, yeah, it doesn't work with that with that other mod stuff. Yeah, like, let's, okay, this is probably from the Aether. Well, that's pretty cool. Huh. So I wonder with the weed if it also goes dry, you know, the next day. I guess we'll find out! Okay, what to do? What to Ooh. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a there's a battle tower over there. Although I know, I know better. <laughs> okay, you know, that's dangerous. Without like a full blown decked out gear. Okay, we'll put this away for now. Actually, since I apparently don't have sources of food available, I'm gonna have to eat veggies. Okay, I need some. What I what what I would really like is some more um, torches. Thanks, Minecraft. You know, for the for the music, I mean. There we go, I got the right number of torches. I don't know, sometimes it kind of... One of my mods is, is you know, fudging stuff up. Hmm. 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 Ooh, a whist! Oh! I don't have my gun anymore. I don't even have... I don't, I don't even have gunpowder. I couldn't even make bullets. There are a lot of cows around here. Holy moly. Wish I could find a village so I can get some wheat, though. 
Are you guys good? You guys? Okay, I need I need to raise the roof. Raise the roof, Kakucho. I'm doing it. I just it feels so it feels so impersonal. Talking to to sugarcane. You know, I mean, no offense, you guys. Yeah, whatever. Seriously, you even kind of sound like, oh, core. <laughs> I saw a really cool trick, though. A cool trick about using buckets of lava slash water. You know, you have to be lucky enough to spawn next to a, uh, one of those little lava, random lava puddles up on the surface, but you can use buckets of lava and water to make your own, like, obsidian, and shape it into the shape of a nether portal, which I thought was just, was amazing was really cool, but unfortunately, I see no pockets of lava. Cow? Will you be my friend? What's your name, cow? It's dead, is, is what it is until I get wheat. Because I don't think there's any way you could love me. Not in, the, not in the state you are now. Okay, this is good. Ooh, more strawberries. Gimme! Oh no, it broke again! Oh man, see what I'm talking about? Sometimes. Oh, that one didn't give me seeds. Nice. Well, I'm gonna go cook this meat, and then I'm thinking about maybe taking on that battle tower after getting some more iron armor. Not the golem. Not the... <laughs> Not the golem, but, um, you know, just the chest at the bottom. I might I might find some useful stuff. It seems like they've kind of, they've nerfed the towers, maybe to go along with the way that Thumbcraft's been updated to not give you so... Or uh, to give you discoveries more easily. Maybe maybe they had, I mean, readjusted it, because apparently it's the percentages, the bonuses you get from bookshelves and brains and jars are a little higher now. So maybe he was trying to offset that by making it to where you have, like, nothing in battle towers. It seems more random, at least, if nothing else. Because whenever I go in, in my testing, when I've gone to a battle tower before, so well, in, in one battle tower, I'll find as much as, as we've ever found before in a battle tower, and then in, in a completely separate one, I'll find almost nothing. Like, just, who built this tower? Like, the golem's up top making a troll face, and I'm just, like, I'm freaking screaming. Because, you know, because I'm getting killed by by spiders and stuff. Ugh. All right. Let's continue digging down. D diagonally. <laughs> don't, don't dig down. Let's continue dig... Zombie, I heard that. Let's continue digging diagonally, and then we shall, um, you know, find more iron. Perhaps take on a battle tower. And all, all, all will be all, all steps inclusive to retrieving core, you know. Cause he, he was my freaking like best Minecraft buddy ever. Uh, then there was Terra and Nina, but we never really got to know them. <laughs> all in due time, everybody. Thanks for watching. Like, if you're sure if you had a good time, it really helps me out. And until next video, see you then.